Congratulations on your decision to purchase the Brownfield Connectivity Gateway from Siemens. Today marks the beginning of your journey into the digitalization of legacy assets in your plant. You will finally be able to use their operating and performance data. See in this video how easily and quickly the onboarding of your machine is successfully completed within just a few entries. The benefit of our comprehensive offering allows in-depth analysis in the cloud. Seamless integration into your IT infrastructure goes without saying and gives you the ability to connect anything with everything. And because we are sure you want to connect more than three already included assets, we have chosen a high-performance IPC where you can connect up to 60 machines. You have received the Brownfield Connectivity Gateway hardware in a box. Open the box and check that all the parts on the list are provided. Remember that the Brownfield Connectivity Gateway is bundled with an industrial PC and should be handled with care. Press the pause button while you read this important message. First, install the BFC Gateway in the control cabinet. The graphic and the installation document shows you where to place the screws in detail. Do not forget to connect the potential equalization. Then plug in the power supply cable. The network connection is established via the ports X1P1, X2P1, and X3P1. The network interfaces X1P1 to X3P1 are pre-configured. Use the network interface that corresponds to your network infrastructure. The first step in this installation video is entering the IP address of the industrial PC. In our example, the address is 192.168.5.102. And then we can open this web page. This takes you to the login form. The next page gives you some general information about the clients and machine types that can be configured supported by the wizard. In this example of a system overview, you can see some machines that can be connected and marked here, the machines that the wizard supports. Now you can create your personal password for the wizard, consisting of at least eight characters upper and lower case letters, a digit, and a special character. The password is for the wizard only. For the BFC gateway, you can create a different password. After logging in, you start on the network configuration page. Here all the available network interfaces are listed, starting with X1P1, bearing the same labeling as the physical IPC. X2P1 is the second network interface for the Ethernet cable. X3P1 is the third. The first network interface is configured with DHCP, which means you do not have to make any entries because the IPC automatically obtains the IP address. The other two interfaces are configured via static addresses, which you can use if you do not have a DHCP server. Enter these in the address line here to get to the wizard. You can adapt the network configuration individually to your needs. For instance, with two DHCP interfaces and a static network address. This allows you to configure, for example, a machine network and a separate office network for the BFC gateway. Now select a host name under which you will later reach the IPC, the wizard UI and also the BFC gateway. The default host name is BSC Starter. The next step is the time server configuration. Select the default configured time server or one of your choice under custom time servers. A click on default resets the address to the default standard if required. The time servers and their backups automatically update the system time over the internet. In the time zone configuration, you define your time zone individually, UTC by default and this is then set on the IPC. In the proxy configuration, you create different proxy servers. For example, HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, or SOX proxy. Enter the corresponding username and password for the proxy servers here. 
you will need these to connect to external cloud systems such as Insight Hub. If you do not want a proxy server, you can skip this step. The BFC user configuration is the next step. Admin is the standard name which can be changed individually, following the same password policy as for the BFC installation wizard. That means at least eight characters, upper and lower case, one digit, and one special character are needed. Finally, the three clients for which you have purchased licenses with the starter kit will be configured. You can also select no client, then you do not need to configure anything here. Choose between a Sinumeric client with BFC driver or connecting the Sinumeric via OPC UA. The first one must be created manually in the BFC configuration UI. Here the equipment and script logics for the BFC analytics are automatically created. Since you can choose for example a Sinumeric power line and HMI advanced here, you can download the corresponding installation files in the suitable data set on the last information page after the installation, which helps to configure the client more easily. To connect the Sinumeric controller via OPC UA, enter the IP address, the default port, which can also be changed, as well as the username and password. In addition to the Sinumeric systems, a Fanoc and a Heidenheim client are also available, which can be created automatically. For instance, this Fanoc client can be configured with an IP address, and this is also automatically created in the BFC gateway, where it can send data to the BFC analytics as soon as it is created. On the left, you find the scriptures for Sinumeric OPC UA and Sinumeric with the BFC client. There you can access the installation manual or obtain more detailed information about the control systems via the C portal. The overview page shows you all information about the current client configuration. Here you can also see that for example, in this case for the BFC client, the correct setup files has been selected for the corresponding HMI type. The info icon is available throughout the wizard and takes you to the offline BFC function manual or to the BFC analytics documentation. Scanning the QR code with a mobile device brings you straight to the C portal for assistance. With internet access, you can also click on it to take you directly to the C portal webpage. If the configuration suits you, please read the license and security text to the end and confirm by clicking on the tool checkboxes that only become visible at the end of the text. Only then can you click install. Clicking this button takes you to the installation page and the wizard starts the installation, which can take up to 20 minutes. After completing the installation, you are not forwarded automatically to the next page depending on whether or not you've changed the IP address. The system may report an error message that the wizard cannot reach the back end. With an identical IP address, you can simply reload the page, renewing the HTTPS certificate in the process. With a changed IP address, simply connect this changed IP address to reach the wizard. After the installation is completed, a renewed login will display an information page with all of the details of the installed clients. Here you can also find a PDF of the current BFC Gateway README file for download or online reading. The PDF lists all changes for the current BFC version. In addition, you find links to both function manuals and the offline documentation. And here, you can see the devices have been set up. In our case, it is a Sinumeric client with a BFC client. And this is the download button for the zipped installation files. Clicking here will download the data set pre-configured for the BFC client to enable it to work seamlessly with the BFC analytics. The zip file contains the installation files for installation on the numeric machine as well as a config.ini file with some pre-configured parameters for installation. Always use the installer and dataset for the chosen control system. If you have different Sinumeric controllers, you will get different installation files and datasets. The Fanoc and the Sinumeric OPC UA clients were configured automatically and can be accessed directly without further inputs, sending data to the BFC analytics. 
The two buttons take you to the BFC Gateway and the BFC Analytics Dashboard, respectively. At the BFC Gateway, you arrive at the login page where you enter either the host name or the IP address manually, followed by the login data configured in the wizard. On the landing page of the BFC Gateway, you can then click on Commissioning, for example. Here you can see the three pieces of equipment. These are the folders where the various drivers and script logics are created. Here you can see the driver for a Fanuc controller which is already running. And here you can see the two script logics that normalize the data and forward it to BFC Analytics. In this case, the BFC client and tool script logics have been created, but unfortunately the driver must be configured manually since the wizard cannot create it automatically. For the Sinumeric OPC UA client, the driver has been configured automatically and the script logic has been created. The client already sends normalized data to an HTTP gateway located at the main hierarchy level. By clicking on the BFC Analytics tile, you can also access the dashboard from the landing page. There you will find your configured machines, for example, the Sinumeric OPC UA machine. If this wasn't just a test system with no real data flows, you could see the data now. When all specifications are done, the installation wizard creates an installation file that needs to be installed in the machine controller. After completing the installation of the BFC gateway, download the prepared setup file. Usually, you will find them in your download folder. You should first create a backup of your machine control, the so-called commissioning archive. Here we create this backup via the HMI of a Sinumeric machine. This works similarly for all Sinumeric controls. Once the archive has been created, the BFC client software can be installed on the controller. Files previously downloaded from the starter wizard contains the BFC client. This must be transferred to the Sinumeric controller in order to establish a connection. To do this, you need software such as WinSCP or another SSH client which must be installed on the Sinumeric controller. The BFC client is in the zip folder with the selected controls name. The folder must be unzipped. To establish a connection via WinSCP, you'll need the controller's IP address. Select the SFPT protocol and enter the manufacturer's name and the user's password. After the connection has been established, transfer the BFC client's installation file via drag and drop or right-click upload to the manufacturer's directory. Now the PuTTY shell has to be started and usually the control password has to be entered again. PuTTY supports many Linux commands like change mode, to adjust the properties of a file. To access the setup of the BFC client with PuTTY, you have to be in the same directory. Then the setup must be made executable with the command. After that, the setup can be executed. The setup requires the entry of the IP address under which the target system, that is the starter IPC, can be reached. Then a machine description must be specified under which the machine will appear in the BFC gateway. While you can choose any description you like, a description tailored to the individual controller is a good idea. The connection between the machine and the gateway will only work if the date and time of the machine match those of the gateway. If this is ensured, you can confirm with OK. After the installation, there is a note that the machine must be restarted for the BFC client to work. The machine can be rebooted either directly from the HMI of the controller or through the console, which is another function of the WinSCP. To reboot the controller with the console, the command SC reboot is used. After the reboot, the BFC client should appear in the user interface of the BFC and be selectable. Here you can see the BFC client installation for a Windows interface. 
you can see how the BFC client installation for Windows interface works in a separate video. BFC client installation for HMI Advanced. To do this, transfer the setup file to the machine in advance via USB stick or configured drive. You can see the operation of the HMI directly via the operation panel as if you were standing right in front of the machine. We assume here that you are already in service mode. Run the appropriate setup file, enter IP host and machine description. Restart the HMI in consultation with the operator. Restart the client onboarding in the installation wizard and navigate from there to the BFC gateway. This is how you create the VFC client and import the dataset. The process is identical on Linux and Windows based on Sunumeric controllers. Here, you can already see how data arrives. To create a Fanuc, Heidenhain, or OPC UA client, we start in the wizard after installing and configuring the Fanuc, Heidenhain, and OPC UA devices. You can see that after installation, all clients are already created in the gateway and receive data. The connection is established and the machine sends data to Brownfield Analytics. There you can visualize it immediately in standard dashboards and use it as the basis for your decisions on increasing productivity or maintenance planning. Built-in data normalizing, cleaning, and aggregating functions in the Brownfield Connectivity Gateway middleware help you to reduce data volume before it is consumed by other systems. Increase the transparency of your assets by connecting more machines through the Brownfield Connectivity Gateway and by collecting more data from each machine. Your local Siemens partner is happy to advise you.